Well, Marcella, it is once again a great pleasure to talk to you about the Big Break Atlantis and the 10th episode, which was exciting. But first, before we get into that, uh, I know you're in Concord. What's been going on there? Is uh, Are you seeing a bunch of the ladies again? What's happening with you right now? Um, well, I just, um, hi Gail, thank you for having me again on, on, on your blog. Um, I just got here yesterday, uh, last night. I went uh, for an early practice this morning, and it was so nice to see um, the girls, you know, um, it's a big family at this point in time. I, I've been um, I've been part of the tour for for ten years already, and it's it's always nice to see um, the faces uh, that I've seen for for many years, and the new faces are coming coming up to to the tour. Uh, the weather is actually great. Um, maybe it'll be raining later on. I have not seen um, my friends from Big Break Atlantis yet, but uh, I'll probably see them uh, through the through the week for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, good. Well, you say hello to the ladies that I know anyway. <laughs> for <me>. I will. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it was an exciting episode. I love it when they bring back contestants. It's so much fun to see them again, especially the ones that leave early and you really don't get to know them. Just what felt, what did it feel like when you saw them all walking up to the practice tea? You know, for me, for me, just um, they, they really just put a smile in, in my face because, um, you know, every episode – we are just um, pretty much missing one and one after the other, and it gets kind of quiet out there. You know, when you have 12 women around, um, it can get pretty uh, loud and uh, chatty, um, but that's what makes us, um, you know, like a great group. And after missing um, or eliminating one after the other, it, it got kind of quiet. And when I saw the carts driving the, um, the range, my face just lit up. I'm like, great. There's going to be a lot of chatting. I haven't seen them. It's going to be great. And and for me, it was um, it was definitely definitely a, a great experience. Well, you picked Shannon first. You had first choice of all the ladies. You picked Shannon first. And I'm wondering why did you do that? Well, I went for Shannon um, because I after seeing her uh, play in the um, in the first uh, two episodes, I noticed how good her her game is um, I liked also that um, you know she she's an aggressive player um, and in big break you need to be aggressive and um, you know and she's also a Texan a Texan girl um, for me uh, the state of Texas it's almost like my second home just because it's so close from where I'm at in uh, Monterrey Mexico um, my family and I have visited uh, the state quite often um, and uh, I used to also work with uh, an, an, a coach there and lived there for four years. And, um, you know, just, uh, I, I enjoy the Texan uh, uh, people, and um, pretty much Shannon uh, has all the characteristics that um, put me in a, in a very good um, place. You know, um, it's, a, it's always a happy, a happy place to be around people like her, and that was part of my strategy. Well, the uh, the choice of uh, who sh- who did which shots. So do people say, "Hey, I want to do that one," or how did you decide who did which shots? You know, um, in my team, it was Allison, um, Shannon, um, and Kelly. Mm-hmm. And uh, what we decided to do is is always discuss discuss between us which which shot was going to be the most comfortable for each mm-hmm. uh, player. As the captain, I decided for them to choose first because I always, in, in team events, I always like everybody to be comfortable with, with their position. And, um, and I, I pretty much decided that they were going to choose their spot, and, and we talked it out. Um, Allison felt really good with that uh, short uh, shot over the bunker. Um, Shannon, you know, we saw her on, on episode two perform really well around um, that yardage, uh, I think it was like around 75 or 80 yard um, yardage. And Kelly, uh, you know, um, in one of the episodes, she um, several episodes actually, she hit really, really good mid-iron shots. So mm-hmm. that was a decision. And, um, you know, I just pretty much um, had a, uh, the last choice, and, and I was comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, um, these ladies have gotten to got must have gotten a little rusty, you know. They're lying by the pool, they're enjoying themselves, they're not out practicing much. So, you know, they kind of sort of 
pretty cold, I imagine, coming into this competition. So I wasn't all that surprised that some of the ladies had been hadn't been around for a while, didn't play as well as say Christina or you know um, you guys who are out there practicing all the time. So it was uh, a little unfair to judge them too harshly. I would think, being that they're not golfing for the last few days. Yeah, right. for sure. It was understanding, especially that um, in this game, um, the short game is the first thing that goes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, if you're not constant with that practice, that's the first thing you're gonna pretty much lose. And um, it was an understanding. I, I was not gonna be um, harsh on on any of my teammates. I, you know, they they've been like you said, laying out and 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 enjoying um, the Atlantis Resort. Um, I just, uh, you know, I had a lot of faith in them, and and I was gonna support them no matter what. Right, right, yeah. So you you were very relaxed. You looked really comfortable. Of course, you were, you know, you knew that you were gonna be playing in the finals. Um, Selene, um certainly looked tense and uh, seemed tense with her team. Certainly, when Natalia hit it fat, she was uh, commenting. Um, I I wondered what was it like being with Gloriana and Selene that day. They, you know, there was this, you know, you were so calm, Gloriana seemed to be a little nervous, but Selene was really intense. Yeah, you know, um, it was funny because when I was watching the episode, I, I, I didn't see that part um, of them, for example, in breakfast. Um, you know, Selene is kind of like a quiet kind of girl, um, and around me she didn't, really much show uh, how intense she was, how I think she was feeling the pressure for sure. Um, with Gloriana, um, I could see she was a little bit nervous. Um, and uh, But breakfast was pretty much your normal. You know, we joked around a lot um, during that time. And then around the girls, I kind of uh, kept myself with, with my team for a little while and couldn't see that side. Of, of Selene and Gloriana until I was uh, actually watching it on 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 TV when when right. the show aired. Yeah, yeah, that's always interesting to watch it on TV after being there live. It, it, it gives you a different perspective on what happened. It, yes, it was. It was definitely yeah. it was definitely different from from what I remember for sure. Yeah. Well, you were there. You got to watch it. Um, Gloriana, you know, she her team obviously won, and that was all great. Um, I was wondering, given that she didn't play really badly in the elimination challenge, she just didn't quite have the spark she normally does, and I wondered if she won, was she either just because she'd never been in el elimination before, she was just really, really nervous, or do you think she was intimidated a bit about by Selene during that um, challenge? You know, I think it's a combination. Um, Gloriana didn't experience elimination, but she did experience a playoff um, with me. So that playoff was kind of the same thing of elimination. You know, you, you were going to be safe or not to go to the finals. So I think she had the experience um, in that sense. But, um, you know, I think sometimes, you know, she, she played, she performed well, but Selene pretty much destroyed everybody that she played with in the elimination. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't talked to Gloriana about it, but, you know, um, going against uh, Selene was, was, um, was definitely some, some type of pressure just because, I don't know, she, she, at that point in time she had birdie probably four out of his, her six holes of elimination. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be... A lot of um, pressure. I, I'm sure Gloriana uh, thought about it, but she knew she she had the game to to go against Selene. Um, and just you know, the only thing that happened was that Selene performed uh, better than Gloriana that day. Well, and she did get a little lucky. I mean, that big slice off the tee could have easily gone OB, and yet you know, there she was in the rough. You could see the ball and. You know, she chip out in the fairway and uh, and fine. I mean, she, but she did play really well, no question about that. But it's funny how much luck does play into the game, as as well as talent. Oh, for sure, for sure, luck has um, has a little bit um, to do with it. And um, but at the end, uh, both of them did did well. And um, Selena just um, you know had uh, several more birdies than than Gloriana, and um, that's why she um, she's in the final championship. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. Well, is there anything uh, that we didn't see during that day that happened that you can share? Or if not, that's fine. Just curious. you know, what you didn't see was that um, it was it was kind of different for me. It was different to be sitting by myself in the bench. Um, they show a little bit here um, in the show a little bit about me just standing there by myself, but it was kind of lowly. <laughs> I, I you know, I I they didn't show it, but. Um, you know, I tried to kind of take notes, um, knowing that I was going to to play the final championship. Um, I I only had one practice round, but uh, I was taking notes and seeing um, where Selene was and where Gloriana was and how how um, the shots reacted um, to them, just to have a little bit of feedback um, to play to play the um, the, the final match. Mm -hmm. um, so I did a lot of notes for at least those uh, five holes that uh, that they played, and um, but it was different. It was definitely different to be sitting in that little bench by myself. <laughs> mm, I bet it was. Yeah, I saw you there. I thought, wow. But it was good to see to, they let you commentate a little bit. So I know uh, that was fun at the beginning. You know, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You know, like. But then um, it was fun just to kind of like. Um, w it was fun for me to watch them play. And uh, and to be able to comment a little bit about uh, the shots that they did, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun next week watching you play in the final. Um, absolutely. Well, there's no question in my mind who I'm hoping for. So, uh, <laughs> anything you want to close with today before we uh, talk to you again next week? Well, um, just um, you know, thanks thanks for the support for everybody that has been enjoying uh, Big Break Atlantis, and um, you know, I I hope the uh, the final episode of of this season is um, is good. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I I know it's going to be a, a great match. Um, Selene has shown um, how good of a player she is, and and you know, like hopefully. Um, we'll come, we'll come around and, and play a good match and, and put a good show for, for everybody that has been following the show. Yeah, well, I'm sure looking forward to it. And I know it's, it's already been done and gone, but it's, it's hard not to say good luck. You know? <laughs> Thank you so much, Gail. Thank you so much. Don't worry. A lot of people have been, have been telling me that, um, especially now that I'm, I'm back and, and, you know, um, they're they're cheering for one or the other, and I enjoy I'm enjoying every second of it for sure. Oh, good, good. Well, thank you again, and then let's talk next week, Marcella. This has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.